Welcome to Young Tuition. Today, I'm going to discuss some basic issues on electricity. In particular, this talk is in response to some recent claims by two popular YouTubers. If you haven't seen these two videos by the Science Asylum, in 2019 and another by Veritasian very recently, then please go there, have a look, and then come back to see my response. First, I must point out, both of them uh, proposed that the electrical energy stored in the battery can be transformed, uh, not, while, not through the the wire, but uh, through the electro electromagnetic field. And their basis is uh, the definition of pointing vector. We're talking about pointing vector later, but this S represents that uh, particular vector. Why did they choose pointing vector to uh, back their claim? because in the context of studying electromagnetic wave, point vector provide not only the direction of electromagnetic wave, but also exactly the energy flux of electromagnetic wave toward that direction, okay? But the first diagram, the first thing, that my first remark is that this diagram uh, around the battery is uh, incorrect. Now, the red color represents the electric uh, field. The blue color, the, the loop, represent magnetic field. Now, this is based on two assumptions. First, the positive charge is accumulated on the positive side permanently. And another uh, a negative charge is uh, accumulate uh, at uh, the cathode permanently. And uh, therefore, according to the dipole, uh, electro dipole uh, field, then that's how they draw this uh, the diagram. But because that uh, electric field is a static, therefore it is impossible to uh, found magnetic field if the power switch is, is open. There, the second assumption is that when you switch on the switch and the current will uh, move along the circuit, in the meantime, that is uh, their second uh, assumption, that the current will go through from the negative to the positive. So because the current is moving upward, therefore, according to the uh, right hand row, and the, the, can, the, the, the blue color, the, the direction or distribution of static magnetic field can be worked out that true. And if, if these two hypotheses is correct, and indeed the yellow arrow will represent the direction of pointing vectors, radians toward direction. But I would like to draw your attention to this fact that uh, in, the, in the battery, that there's only the, the, the electric field is static. And during this, uh, when, when the, uh, for, I'm talking about uh, ordinary battery, and uh, during the, because battery during the charging process, the, if, uh, the potential difference between the two terminal eventually diminish. Therefore, the electric field gradually, the strength of electric field strength gradually decrease. However, there's no charge. There's no current moving between these two terminals. So therefore, because according to, according to Maxwell equation, the current density, the current vector is zero, and also the, the electrical field is time independent. 
the, the electric magnetic the magnetic field around it must be zero too. So this is my this is my first re, uh, response. Secondly, if I look for if this is a, a very colorful diagram, very complicated, but uh, if I simplify this diagram, you will see the argument is based on this assumption that uh, this is a positive, this battery is positive. We know that electrical current go from, neg from positive to negative uh, for the electron because it's negatively charged. So the electron actually move backward to the positive side. Now the argument was made that uh, if the electron actually live in this area, so therefore there is, must be some net positive charge. And because the metal and the, the, those uh, positive charge will distribute evenly on the surface. That is how they explain that, that is the assumption they made. So therefore, can you see this, uh, this positive sign re represent the positive charge on the surface of the wire, presumably the copper wire. So therefore that's why the, if you just pick up one of the uh, electrical field, indeed, it radiate on both sides. In this case, you can use the right-hand rule to work out the direction of pointing vector. Indeed, it is a move along the uh, wire. Of course, this assumption is, uh, is not very uh, reasonable, okay. and especially if you go to the other side. They are in, uh, by way of contrast, and for some, I didn't go to that detail. They assume that the surface, the other loop, other half of loop, the surface is full of the negatively charged. Presumably, it's negatively charged char negatively charged particle must be electron. How can the electron move on the surface in the lower in the other half? Well, anyway. According to this assumption that you can see the electrical field will be uh, moving into the wire from, from all direction. Therefore, again, you can work out that the direction of the pointing vector is still go along the surface toward the electrical bob. And uh, but by the way, these two new YouTubers have different uh, assumption. If I go to this one, you can see. Now in the, in the science, uh, in the science assignment, the, uh, the situation is slightly different. And in this case, they argue that there is a non-zero electrical, uh, electrical field upward, upward in order because the fact that is because you say electron is moving, well, this could be the positive charge, the particle, because electron should go backward. So that is why uh, they, it was assumed that the electric field near the surface of the wire is uh, the parallel to the surface. And hence that uh, not this is energy flow, but hence the pointing vector is toward the surface. And some people even argue that, well, this would be the same for the uh, load or, or and, and a wire, because that is also explained that uh, uh, this is uh, this direction of pointy vector was also interpreted as that energy is actually moving from the space into the uh, metal wire. Just return to this uh, diagram. So this is uh, inconsistent, see? Uh, how can you, uh, this is uh, something I think people would like to ask. How come that uh, in the upper layer, upper half of loop, the surface is full of positive charge particle? And how about in the second half, and this uh, surface is full of negative charge particle? So that is uh, remain unexplained. And uh, this is another issue that uh, 
the both of them argue that the electron actually move very slow in the conductors. So therefore, it is uh, unlikely that uh, the moving electron can actually carry the can transfer the energy from power supply to the uh, to the node simply because according to their data that uh, the electron moves too far too slow but uh, here is a simple estimate to show that that is not the case so if we just assume we use uh, uh, copper wire whose cross section is about one millimeter square and uh, the uh, per minute, the electron can move 0 0.1 millimeters. And then based on these two numbers, we can work out that the current is actually 100 milliamp. Okay. So that is, uh, so the, the, although the electron move very slow, uh, slowly, but the number of electron is, is enormous. Now here is a, how I estimated this number, because for the cubic centimeters of metals or solid, the number of the of atom is uh, approximately about the one uh, Avogadro number. So I just use 10 to power uh, 23. And if we just convert that uh, unit of the cylinder into this, uh, into this uh, number in cubic centimeter, we can easily work out that the, the current or the Q is, uh, is, is uh, 10 to the power 18. So hence we got this current is, uh, is around 100 milliamp. So it's, this is not an issue. Okay? So because, because they want to uh, use, this, uh, use this fact in support of their alternative interpretation uh, on how the electric energy is transformed from the power supply, uh, to, to, the, uh, to the electro appliance. <clears throat> okay, there's some inconsistency. Uh, in this case, you can see that apart from, apart from the positively charged uh, distribute evenly around the surface, and uh, there are also additional electrical field. Can you see electrical field here? And toward the direction, opposite of the, of the direction of the moving electron, because that uh, the direction of the electric field is the direction of how the, uh, the positive charge is accelerated in the field, electric field. And this is, uh, but, is it, but the care must be taken uh, seriously. And in, in the first place, if the, con if the wire, if this part represents the conductor, a good conductor, copper is not bad. And then we would expect that the electric field should be very small. Why? Because a good conductor, when you use a good conductor, that is a, the, the electrical potential difference uh, at two end must be too very small because the uh, resistance or resistivity is very small. So you can argue that the force acting on that uh, particular electron in this case can be represented by this one. So because for a good conductor, these two potential at both ends are approximately the same. So we would expect that the electric field should be very close to zero, not as strong as that. Okay. Another thing is that this is especially true if the motion of electron in the superconductor, okay, the motion is not caused by electrostatic for electrical field. Okay. So that is another comment here. Let's go to the uh, this most important part. So the question, the important question, how does the uh, assumed uh, electrical power move into or absorbed or transformed into the, uh, uh, in this case, uh, to, to, to turn on the light bulb. 
there's no explanation. There's no explanation. And here is some detail, okay? There's some detail. They just assume that any engine like just like a fluid can, can move. So basically this diagram simply show you that the, the uh, in electric power or energy can move, that can flow, okay? Guided by the electric wire, conductor wire, and eventually it end up with the position, the space where the electric bulb is located or any uh, 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 electrical appliance. You, you mentioned the washing machine, the microwave or uh, refrigerators, but how can this energy hang on the space can be absorbed, magically transform into that uh, particular resistor? They didn't explain. Now, let's just go to this uh, diagram I used. So this is my diagram to redraw that uh, what what's, what's going on at uh, the electric bulb in this case. So what happens is that electron, electron inside that resistor, equivalent resistor of electric bulb is actually accelerated by the electrical uh, electrical field. Uh, this force Fe is actually determined by the product of the, of the Q and the electric field strings. And by the way, if these wires are good conductor, the potential difference between these two terminal of the of resistor should be very close to the difference between the two, uh, close to the voltage of the battery. So in this way, we can work out the power. The power will be determined by the current and the voltage difference. So that is how traditionally how we explain that uh, the electric power consumed by a particular electric appliance. But in this diagram, another thing I have to explain that in this case, you can see the current because the current is actually uh, moving downward. So therefore, using the right hand, using the right hand uh, row, we can find the, the, the distribution of the uh, magnetic field around that uh, particular uh, resistor. However, uh, it must be uh, make it clear that this static magnetic field is generated by the moving electron uh, inside the resistor. Okay. So these magnetic field has nothing to do with the magnetic field possibly exist around the power supply as I first uh, noticed. So therefore it is, uh, and beside, of course, if you use the right-hand uh, row, uh, row, you still can argue that the pointing vectors in this case, if you just assume that the vector is down, the uh, electric field is downward, so you can you, you still can obtain that the uh, the pointing vector is uh, is into this into the the direction of pointing vector is actually uh, into uh, the resistor, but care must be taken. This, own, this diagram only uh, shown that the cross product of the static electric field and the uh, static magnetic field is toward the resistor. Rather than there's no, this doesn't imply that there must be a certain amount of energy flux moving into the resistor from space. It's completely, this is, this is a very basic idea in physics, right? You cannot imagine that something uh, static. And just because that uh, the, the E cross product uh, B will give that direction, it doesn't mean that, that necessarily, not necessarily mean that the engine can move into these particular uh, physical devices. If, if, if so, tell me, 
how, how can we interpret, how can we describe the absorption, emission, re-emission, and uh, transmission? Do we treat this uh, pointy vector? This, this, is a, this is a magical energy flow as type of the radiation? You can't, you can't. It's terrible and wrong, it's terrible. Now, this is some, some remark I have to uh, make sure to convey that the static magnetic field near the bulb is generated by the moving electron inside the bulb rather than from the remote power supply, I have, as I had just explained. Second, the net electric static force F, that's the interesting part, small f, small f, on an electron near the bulb originated from the repulsive coulomb forces among electrons themselves in the wire, in respective of whether the residue electrical field is zero or not. What does that mean? If you go to the diagram here, you can enlarge the one, you can see that. Because of the, uh, the, the local electron uh, near the resistor or inside the resistor are constantly uh, forced to move upward. <laughs> you can see the density of electron in the upper end will increase. Hence, the inter-electron distance will decrease. So therefore, inevitably, because of the uh, repulsive nature of interaction among electrons, so electron will be pushed by these repulsive force uh, toward the uh, anode, to the positive side. On the other hand, because these, there's a shortage of electron on the on the left left hand side on the down on, on, on the lower on the bottom you can see the density of electron will increase so inevitably electron on the way to that uh, uh, resistor will be pushed by the electron behind it as a result electron will move as we expected in the DC circuit, not by any elastic, not by any static electrical field, but by the repulsive Coulomb force of electron. Of course, these phenomena can also be uh, interpreted as a diffusion. See, simply because the density is crowded, more crowded, so therefore they want to get equal distance. So therefore, that is the formation of current in the, in the conductor wire. That's my point. So electron will move around the opposite to direction of the of electrical, electrical current, just by convention, but the driving force, the driver has nothing to do with electrostatic force as determined by, used by, by this you know, potential difference, okay? Not by potential difference, okay? The, in other words, electron can move accordingly uh, from negative to a positive side without any percent in the absence of the potential difference in the conductor wire. Okay, that's very important because ultimately, according to Ohm's law, at the steady state, these two current must be the same. Of course, you can imagine that at the very beginning, when you suddenly to switch on the, uh, on, on, the uh, on the switch, it is unlikely that a state uh, state can be achieved instant instantaneously. Okay. Any other thing? Ah, perhaps we can also mention that. This is more. This is my hypothesis. I, 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 I must be make it clear that because you see, because these these question, the answer to the question in the video is uh, is open to to many hypotheses, uh, secondary hypotheses. For example, how to treat that parallel, nearly parallel, uh, conductor wires. So many electrical engineering uh, uh, people would just. Spontaneously, you see, you know, this some kind of equivalent circuit. They use. Uh, I noticed one, one of them actually actually published the 
computer simulation based on uh, using the equivalent capacitors and the resistors and to, to both end, eventually they can uh, uh, assume they got some preliminary result in the nanosecond scale. I'm surprised yeah, that I think is very good. However, we have to be careful when interpreting this result because after all, we have to assume how does this, uh, uh, this uh, the potential, oh, I'm talking about the, the main part of my, 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 my theory now, that this diagram, and it's just uh, completed this, this diagram this afternoon. And uh, you can see, I just uh, I altered that original question slightly. I assume that uh, a, a half of this uh, conductor wire is uh, using the superconductor. So therefore we don't have considered that uh, the resistance uh, of the half of that uh, conductor at all. Uh, but on the other hand, we do consider, we, we need to consider resistance, although it's very small, for example, for the copper wire, uh, the, res in, in, the resistivity of the copper wire is uh, relatively small or much smaller than the resist, uh, resist, resistance, resistivity of the bulb, resistivity, resistance of the bulb. So these are my hypotheses. So there's a, at the beginning, so this, this green colored curve represent, oh, by the way, the vertical axis represent the electrical field potential or electrical potential uh, for short. And that is, uh, that is the, that's the potential of the positive anode. This is the potential of a canceled. So you can see at the beginning when this switch is off, we will see that the uh, inside, inside the, 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 the uh, potential in this uh, circuit is uh, the same everywhere. That's that is represented by this uh, green uh, curve. Once we switch off, switch on, then some transient uh, stage can be monitored if you go to a very small time scale, especially you know, uh, below the micro or even liner second, you should be able to see many unstable transient uh, response depending on the model you use. Oh, by the way, in physics, we don't study real object. I forgot to tell you that. So these questions open always. And because the answer is very dependent on how do you apply your model? How do you define your model? So, there is, so therefore the answer could be, uh, could be different. However, uh, my response is focused on the claim that the electrical power, whether electrical power can be transported by uh, by electro uh, static electromagnetic field. Okay, of course, basically my answer my my answer is negative. Okay, but can we just return to the diagram? So these uh, these uh, these color, the purple one, will represent such one of the um, uh, transient uh, period, uh, transient uh, risk, uh, of uh, potential di uh, distribution along the second half uh, of, of of the of circuit, and this time scale is uh, determined by the uh, because light speed is the fastest. So therefore, at the moment we we have we can you know we have no alternative but assume that the electrical field uh, in the conductor. Can uh, can can change can can influence other at the speed of the light, but who know? It could be even faster. Anyone can measure actually how will you actually uh, turn on and to measure how fast that uh, is that does that really? I mean, not a simulation, but a measurement. Okay, it will be interesting to know how fast and uh, the static electrical field can can influence uh, the remote charge or remote potential, in this case, particular case, the potential. So I did this exactly at this time. And of course, this is ideal case. At this exactly at the time, L is the distance, the, the length of the, of the half. So L is a half of this loop. So if this, this condition is satisfied, my 
assumption, my hypothesis is that the perfect uh, temporary, the temporary, uh, the potential were established. But at this stage, the current may not detectable. So I approximate that at, uh, at this stage, at, uh, at uh, stage one, stage two, only when they achieve the second stage, and the, but still the current in the conductor are still beyond uh, detection. Well, namely zero. Why? Because that we have accepted that in order to push, enable all electrons in the wire to move, and uh, it takes time, it takes time. However, for those electrons or local electrons in the remote device, and because of, uh, of the potential difference, it has been established. So the instantaneously, the electron will move from, 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 the positive, from negative to the positive. So therefore, I suspect that there might be some transient stage where the current, the current of the bulb or the night is on, the night is on before we measure, we can measure any uh, the current in a conductor. Well, I, 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 this is a hypothesis. Okay, if you have any equipment facilities and uh, do something, okay, and. Uh, but eventually, as I just explained to that, because of this uh, density change, because of this, uh, this density change, let's return to my diagram here. That's my simple, this is my simple uh, model, you see? So once the potential difference is established at uh, speed of light, at the speed of light, not directly, not a jump from the, from battery to the uh, to the uh, to the bulb. Okay, this is this is my dear. Is I, I I in my opinion that is unlikely, very unlikely, almost impossible. So that is a, this is just idea. So if because of this, the local electron uh, are moved are forced to move, therefore the current is formed inside the bulb prior to the current in the wire connected the bulb and supply can be detected. Okay. Let's return to the, that is a diagram. So that is, uh, if, you, if you're interested, you can, you can, you can, uh, you can give me some, um, uh, comment. I, I, I'm, I'd like to, you know, to learn more and uh, some data because, as I say, this is the question. The answer to this question is not unique because the question itself is uh, not well defined. And uh, but uh, I must emphasize that is idea that a static field, stick static uh, electro, a static electromagnetic field can convey, can transport uh, electrical energy is untrue, is physically untrue. Okay. Mathematically, well, you see the direction, okay? You see the direction. So I will talk about this issue. So mathematically, if you put the two uh, static field perpendicular, doesn't mean you can actually get the energy flow. Let's jump to the final diagram. I thought I will, I will mention that earlier. This is my final diagram. So in this diagram, I just challenge those who believe that uh, just because the product of the static electrical field and the magnetic field will give a direction, which in the maximum uh, equation, in the context of electrical wave, which is, must be the direction of electrical wave and also is uh, the direction of energy flux, doesn't necessarily mean that you can actually uh, realize uh, the energy transfer uh, technology. So this from this diagram, you can see that we can simply build that uh, uh, uniform electrical field by use a capacitor. And uh, then if you just use some uh, permanent magnet, 
if you just use some permanent magnet like this, okay, cost nothing, cost nothing, and and make to build the uniform magnetic field perpendicular to that electric field. Indeed, you can create a direction which is uh, equal to the which is parallel to the 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 vector product. But can you actually use this force to to this uh, energy to to achieve the energy transport. Think about it. But before that, can we also edit that some remark? A very important remark. So that's a thing, that is a significant difference. This is a essential difference between the electric wave, electromagnetic wave, and the model the two YouTubers had been uh, proposed. Namely, that in the when we describe electromagnetic wave, oh, I have to, here I have acknowledged that uh, one of the YouTubers I use part of his diagram. Anyway, so basically, electrical field and magnetic field are perpendicular. In addition, in addition, both electrical field and the magnetic field are oscillating at the same frequency, same amplitude, and the same phase. Do you think the diagram uh, the two YouTubers used can satisfy this condition, the basic uh, time-dependent field condition? Of course not, of course not. So therefore, don't just, my suggestion is that it's misleading to borrow this uh, pointing vector out of the context of electromagnetic wave and trying to uh, uh, dig out some new implication. And of course, I don't want to make this uh, reply too long, but these are some of my uh, concern, of course, if you want to read that, you can save that. So basically, I must emphasize and this discussion is, is, is very useful because for many years and the people uh, get used to take things for granted. And uh, I, I, I'm encouraged by these two, you, uh, two YouTubers to address the basic issue from different perspective and even make some uh, uh, new claims. But uh, something we have to uh, uh, get familiar with is that the charge and the field are related, okay? So electric field is very special. Uh, it's very, I don't want to go too long. So basically the, you don't have to use electric field to describe the charge distribution in, in space. So electric field, static electric field is alternative to describe the electric charge distribution in space. So there's one, so, so therefore, the electric field cannot store, you cannot store electric energy, electric field or magnetic field. Okay. And the third, interaction among electron charge can be determined by Coulomb's law without invoking electric field. Okay. So after all, we are talking about uh, electric charge distribution and their interactions. Four, the electric force is determined by the product of the charge and the electric field generated by all electric charges except for the charge of the particle in question. So don't forget that. So sometimes when we apply the Maxwell equation, we, or and even Lorentz's force formula, we just uh, sometimes we, we talk about the field and sometimes we talk about uh, charge. But you have, to, you have to distinguish that. Perhaps we'll go, I don't want to go to detail. And the field and the circuit. Uh, my experience tells us that you can describe the electricity either using the field model or circuit model, depending on your particular applications. And uh, the electrical 
In fact, electricity can be studied using either field model or circular model. The field effect, this is something you have to uh, 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 address, especially for those who just uh, study, especially for those who have studied electrical magnetism, but they haven't go to that far. That is that the field effect can be completely omitted when using the circular model. That's how we dis design the uh, electronics, the, the, the amplifier, we got uh, uh, the computers, this, this device. We don't have to consider the field effect, although some local field effect is addressed. For example, uh, some for the uh, field effect transistors, where the field effect must be taken into account, but they are local, localized, can you see? When we started the capacitors, we have used uh, at we, we always use the metal uh, cylinders to 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 shield to shield this particular component to avoid any field effect around among uh, the neighboring uh, uh, devices components. Okay. The uh, I think you should go faster. Uh, another thing we, we must emphasize, because I noticed one of YouTubers say that the, for the battery, that the, the, the uh, electrical energy is going from positive to the negative, which it is not true, it's not true. The, why is not true? The electrical field potential or electrical field strengths differ from electrical potential energy. So energy is, in, in potential energy involved interaction, unlike a kinetic energy. When you start kinetic energy, you can just pinpoint the particular particle, say, hey, how much kinetic energy you have. You cannot point out the single electron, say, hey, what is the potential energy? And or you can pinpoint the particular electric field and how much uh, 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 potential energy uh, stored, you can't. You, because the electrical potential energy, because electrical potential is between charges in space, although some of the charges can be represented by their corresponding static electrical field. As you can see, the electrical field is, uh, is alternative to, to describe the uh, complicated the charge distribution space. So we simply use a chart. We use a single variable. For example, in the capacitors, we just assume that there's a, we can use the uniform uh, because it, the electrical field is uniform. Therefore, there's no point to, to calculate that, uh, uh, to apply Coulomb's law to work out uh, the interaction between uh, particle uh, by each, for each pairs. Okay. Uh, this is something I just recently, one of the students uh, 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 addressed this issue. He said, he just reminded me that uh, the, the capacity can only uh, store half of the electrical energy because the form in front of the formula, there is a half. See, so there's half, uh, half multiplied C multiplied the, the V square. And uh, of course, this is, this is, this is, this is, a, uh, this is a, this is a relevant. So that's why you have to, because we still, get, in many textbooks, this is something I have to, to, to slow down a little bit, that uh, in many textbooks nowadays, we still talk about the formula for how much energy can a uh, capacitor uh, store. Okay, that's fine. But in the formula itself, it can be represented by the density of energy, which is proportional to the, the, the E square. So people were think, became, you know, think, well, perhaps that energy must be stored in the electrical field. Well, you can think so, but physically it's not, it, it is not. It is, uh, I have to slow quickly, I have, Okay, I just, uh, okay, this is something very important. The difference, the essential difference between the electromagnetic wave and uh, those, and the, 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 the question we discussed, uh, where on a static field, both electric and magnetic fields are essentially different. Why? Because electromagnetic waves are generated by 
are generated by forced oscillation. So that is a forced oscillation of electrical charges during which the magnetic the mechanical energy, Capricorn, whether it's, whether it's uh, you know, the sonar or the nuclear or uh, the fuel or uh, uh, coal, the energy, the thermal energy will eventually transform into the mechanical energy to rotate a turbine. turbine. And so that uh, the, you, you can make, you can force the, the charge have a certain oscillation. Oh, sorry, this is a generation of electricity. Okay. But still, it is analog. We can talk about of the electric amplifier or in the radio, radio electronics. I'm sure there are many experts uh, among you, so I don't want to too much, go too much, too much detail. During which the me mechanical energy is uh, transformed into electromagnetic uh, energy, okay? Second, how this, how this electromagnetic field is, is transported. When the electric energy is transmitted to the remote device, per, presumably uh, uh, through the wire, through the high voltage uh, uh, line, the potential difference across the device is maintained remotely while the wires. So wire play very important role to set up the required potential difference locally. From uh, to set up potential for each devices. Okay, so this was done, this is done remotely from power supply or from power plant, while the local electron the local electron are forced to move, either oscillate or move to another one direction. Okay, so that's the local electron I refer is to the electron inside a particular uh, electro, electro, electron, electro, electrical uh, appliance, like in this case, the bulb. In this way, the electric energy generated in another place, like a power plant, is converted into other type of energy, such as thermal and mechanical energy. Okay, I think I should stop here. It's getting two now. I end. I will end my talk by showing this uh, cartoon again. And uh, yes, we will see. So we can bit. And if someone can make this uh, this device, I can. I can. I will. I will talk. I will. I. I. I will probably pay. Uh, 20,000, and I talk, forget about these issues. Okay. We just uh, keep, keep, keep chatting. And also I, I, I think uh, I'll, we'll, we'll discuss this uh, implication next time. And if necessary, I can, I can show you some of the analytical uh, uh, analysis of, of using the Maxwell equation uh, in, in relation to the, the, the energy density and the pointing vectors. Okay. Of course, quite quite different idea okay. in the context of the electromagnetic wave and in the context of statical electricity. And you, we cannot simply trust mathematics. Okay. okay, I will stop here. Thank you for watching and looking forward to your uh, comment and the critics. Okay, I will participate in this uh, uh, discussing. I'm enjoy, I'm, I'm enjoy it. And uh, see you later, goodbye.